welcome to another lovely Monday at the start of this week's class. Hope you're all there with us. I am Vinod James. Welcome to Meepu's Academy Reading Live. So how was your weekend? Tell me, what did you do? Did you all do relax yourself with and I'm sure that all few of you have taken your exams. As far as I think, they all would have had a lovely exam because it's their hard work that have paid or you know it's all gonna be emptied down. So I hope all of you had a great exam and people who are planning to take an exam, we're all there to help you to make sure that you're all there getting that dream of yours achieved. So what other things Neetu's Academy have an offer for you? There are a lot of exams on the aspect. We, we do a lot of training for you all. We have an array of a lot of linguistic exams that we do training for. So if you want to get more insight about it, there's a number which is flashing on the screen. Please do not hesitate to uh, call them. They'll be happy to assist you. Softy Stephen, good afternoon. A very, very, very good afternoon to all of you. If you are there in the good morning zone, a very good morning. If you are there in the good evening zone, a very good evening to all of you. Asha Sibin, good afternoon. So there you can see we have, you know, on this screen you can see a lot of exams that we give trainings for. When so there, the biggest honor because all of you, we are so happy to announce that our November, December, January batch is also filled and we have the next batch which is December, January, February which you have opened. Sanju Matthew, good afternoon. Sharon Yamanu, good afternoon. Ashwini Mahindran, good afternoon. Zinsi George, good afternoon. Happy to see you. Happy to see you as well. See, the most amazing thing to come on a daily basis is to come in front of all you lovely students and have a lovely interaction and a nice time in order to make sure that you're all benefited. Amita Joseph, good afternoon. So if you feel that you're benefited by the class that we are giving, please do not hesitate to share. Please do not hesitate to like our channel. Please do not hesitate to follow our channel. Please do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel. We have a few channels and we'll be pinning the latest WhatsApp channel that we have started. Sunil Intro, good afternoon. So a lot of, lot of new names, a lot of known names. So it's a mix of both. Okay, so anybody who's attending the live for the very first time, please do let me know. Okay, that's just to add on to my known people's list because I love to share that. Okay, now when I go to any place, I can proudly say I have known people across India. Right, Revati Kopal, good afternoon, and there we have just pinned the latest WhatsApp channel that we have started. So if you have not yet joined, please do click the joining button. It's all free groups that we have created. We have two Telegram groups. That's the only two groups that we have in Telegram. One is an official Nithus Academy Telegram page and the other one is an exclusive reading Telegram page. We do not have any other group. and We do not have any uh, other group where we charge or anything. We have both the group that we have are free group. Roast me, Joe me. Good afternoon. So anybody attending the live for the very first time, please do let me know. If so, please do let me know where you are from as well. Right. So what are the things that we have in offer? See, every day we try to give you a grammar challenge that is to enhance your grammatical thing. So every day we post that on the official reading telegram page. Sorry, official Neetu's Academy telegram. Now, why it is reading Telegram page? Because few of you think that why we have applied the scrutinizing policy. It is for your own benefit. Because you know that this is online platform and a lot of fraudulent people are available. So they try to hinder our students' growth. And we do not want our students to face any difficulty at any given time. So that is the reason why we have kept this scrutinizing policy. We ask you to send certain details and after double checking only we will be accepting you into that group. Okay, because there are students who have no ethics, who want to rip other people's money. They are there in front of you right now, even watching. So be aware 
If anybody contacts you asking, I am from this, I am from this, just report them and block them. Tina Agnes, good afternoon. Because we will not be contacting you or nor we will be asking you to call us. The only thing that we tell, if anybody tells you any such thing, you can always call that number. They'll be happy to assist you. If you want any information, do call that number that is there on the screen. That's the only your contact point. No other communication will come from our side. So if there is anybody who come and contact you saying that I am from this academy and this is what it is, do send me money. Please be aware, we are not. Understand? Why we tell you openly? Because we don't have anything to hide. Okay? We don't have anything or we never want all of you to lose your hard-earned money. Elizabeth Maria, good afternoon. So when you're doing such online thing, you have to always be cautious. There are students who have been contacted for, you know, some stupid reasons. And they are people, you know, they think that, you know, it's, it's how they are, isn't it? They don't have any ethics or any, any such uh, kind of thing. Just ignore them, report them and block them. That's the safest thing. We have to be cautious. Elizabeth Maria, good afternoon. So anybody who's attending the live for the very first time, because I could see a few new names, but nobody have told me that you're new. Aring Londo, who's attending for the very first time. Manju Marita, good afternoon. Not busy? My student from Saudi. Shibu Samuel, good afternoon. Very, very, very good afternoon. Now, why I told, see, we have, or this session is an international session. Why international session? You have people across the globe. Hepsi Badev, good afternoon. We have people from India, we have people from Nepal, we have people from Helen Maria Herol, good afternoon. We have people from Maldives, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Israel, Indonesia, Thailand, sorry, not Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, England, I'm sorry, UK, Ireland. Then we have people from... Um, South Africa, different parts of Africa to be very precise. So that's how diverse the whole live session is. Ambelia Jimon, good afternoon. So anybody who's attending for the first time, Ari Lodon, who's here for the very first time. Ayana Mohan, good afternoon. And I could, Jobita Thomas, good afternoon. So I could see a lot of icons next to your name. If you have not yet clicked up, you know, like, the very same page that you're watching please do follow us please do click the like button please do subscribe to our channel and if you feel that this class is going to have a benefit if you think that this class is beneficial for you please do not hesitate to share the very same link in your social media platform Sinsha Sinto good afternoon Ayana Mohan yes new is it Ayana I was just about to ask because those are some new names Ayana, if you could tell me where you are from, if it is okay, okay, it's not mandatory, but if you think that, yeah, it is fine, please do let me know. Now, what are the things that we do? We'll be doing only two things. One, we'll be talking about a part B, and we'll be discussing the answers of part A, which I've already shared. So be worried. Good morning. A very good morning. So that's what I told you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, because we have people from all different parts of the world. Right. So I think students have joined. So are you all Colum? Okay, very nice. So I am now from Colum. Okay, a new student. Thank you very much, Ayana. Very kind of you. So if you have not yet flow, it's first time because please do click the channel. Please do subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any update that comes in our in your way because we don't want every day we do the same. Vandana Venkat, good afternoon. Joji Joseph, good afternoon. So very, very, very good afternoon to all my lovely students. So are you all ready for today's session? If so, give me a quick thumbs up. Yes. How many of you are ready and are, you are ready to say that I will get that all right answers? Whatever the question, come what may, I will get that right answer. I can see if you thumbs up. Jinsi George is ready. Okay, fair enough. Helen Satya, good afternoon, new name. Elizabeth Maria is ready. See, I always love to see those icons next to you, you know, your name. Revati Gopal is ready. Manju Merita is ready. 
Fair enough. Simini Boo's ready. Saranyama knows ready. Sinsha ready. Okay. Bonnie is ready. Namita is ready. Good enough, good enough. Softy is ready. Rosmi is ready. Okay, fair enough. Few names where I couldn't see any icon. Please do like the page. Please do subscribe to the channel so that that shows the support. The only way that we could gauge on the aspect whatever that we are doing is beneficial for you is by the uh, you know the appreciation that you give. Hepsipa is ready. Ayana is ready. Sanju is ready. Anila is ready. Prem Mohan and Nair is ready. Right, as you have said that you are all ready. The question will be popping up on the screen, which will have a two minutes timer. So your job is to make sure that you find the right answer in that stipulated period of time. Once you get the answer, don't type the answer. Just put a message saying that done or put a thumbs up. That's enough. Okay, time of just eluded, isn't it? But even though I'm quite happy, because there were there were a lot of people who have said on or before time. So Sanju said I will. Very good. I always love those students who say I will. Chiji Bharatan, good afternoon. Happy Gandhi Jandi, happy Gandhi Jandi to each one of you. Anjana Anna, good afternoon. Tina Dunn, the first person to say that on or before, quite a long time before she said. Then Anu Sabban Dunn. Elizabeth Maria done, Bonnie done, Shiji Baradan done, Manju Marita done, Rosmi done, Softi done, Hepsiba done, Sinisha done, Jobita done, Mamita done, Simi done, Ashwini done, Shiba, Joji done, Asha Sebin done. Okay. Manjiv all said, Jinsi George done. Good, good, good. Rami Anish, good afternoon. As you have all said, done. Sunita, Suni, good afternoon. How am I? I'm doing excellent, Sunita. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you are doing the same. I hope all of you are enjoying making every day the most resourceful of what you could do on a daily basis. Uh, Prem Mohan and I done, Revati Gopal done, Sanju Matthew done, Shibu done, Reti, okay, Aina done, Sobi done, Bijisri, happy Gandhi Jandi, happy Gandhi Jandi to all of you. Done, okay, fair enough. As we all said, done. Now let me ask you. What is your answer? Where you got that answer? That where is very, very important for us. Where you got that answer? Anju Chakotan. Tell me, what is your answer? And where you got that answer from? What are the answers? Shoot. Whatever are your answers. Do not worry about, oh my God, is that right or wrong? Do shoot your answers. Whatever that you have got, always think that that is the right answer. That should be the spirit. Right. Where? What are your answers? Tell me. 
वंदना ए फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट लाइन ओके फैन ऑफ द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू से जोबीता ए रेवती गोपाल बी फर्स्ट लाइन जोबीता नोबल पी वर्ग इज ए फ्रॉम फर्स्ट लाइन ओके फैन ऑफ सो आई हैव ए एंड बी नाउ अश्विनी महेंद्र बी फ्रॉम द सेकंड लाइन ओके फैन ऑफ रोशनी ए फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट फ्यू सेंटेंसेस सॉफ्टी ऑप्शन ए एंड सी कैन बी एलिमिनेटेड ऑप्शन डायरेक्ट आंसर इन पैराग्राफ ऑप्शन मे बी यूज्ड सब्सटेंस ऑप्शन वेरी गुड सॉफ्टी एक्सीलेंट anila a semi i got a from first line okay fair enough fair enough so b a from first portion of the topic okay fair enough tina agnes b from the third line okay fair enough namita joseph a from the first sentence excellent so a and b first and second sentence okay fair enough boni is a b from second line prem a from first line manju merita a from first and second line okay fair enough how about others i want all of you to type whether it is a b c no problem we are here to correct you if you go wrong if you are right we are here to appreciate you so all the way you are benefited anju chako b anusaban b from second line fc by a from first line ramya bridgen work is a first line softy option b answer okay fair enough tansi i'm sorry joji joseph b second line sinsha b second line okay fair enough bg3 a from first line so first line and second line gave you a and b okay fair enough asha sebel b from second line okay fair enough elspeth maria b from second line anju chako b from second line all right sharanya manu b now b is picking up so a up drop now b is picking up simi ajay b okay shiji bharatan b okay so b are now what students are talking about let's see now what are the things that you have to be really cautious about when you're doing part b part b fc by a from first time first line okay fair enough simi aj b whole para okay fair enough see when you do part b okay always remember sanju mathew a from part first of t a may be used okay fair enough fair enough so what are the things that you have to do first and the foremost important when you're doing part b is read the question underline the keywords in the question understand the question very 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 important see yeah. sunita sunil is also saying c okay fair enough now i have all the three answers in front of me sunita can you tell me where you got that c from tibu samuel a okay fair enough now see in this case there's nothing much of a question isn't it it's very simply asking what is this yeah it depends on how the answers are now after underlining see the keyword should be a maximum of two words or to an extent of three if the question is too long apart from that no key words means you should know when you look into that word you should understand the answer prem now have changed to c as well a may be used or used substance c cause fair no fair no now the question is very simple isn't it leukotriene modifiers now you have to sync your question to your answers okay see how you would do okay there are two ways that you can do read the question read the answer option underline the keywords in the answer option as well and then read the paragraph to pick an answer or you can read the question then read the paragraph and then pick an answer from the answer option for me i always prefer the first way so i always sync it see leukotriene modifiers are used to treat condition associated with allergic responses so treat condition so leukotriene modifiers are to treat condition option b leukotrienes are released from mast cells by so cell then is no cell so they are released from other thing leukotriene modifiers are causes airway of constructions constrictions so one they cause constriction b releases from others treat condition okay now i'm going to read my paragraph so leukotriene modifiers the heading also is very straight leukotriene modifiers may be used for the treatment of certain conditions that are associated with an allergic response so are used to treat conditions associated with that so straight away it is pointing into that answer let's see leukotriene modifiers prevent action of leukotrienes in the body okay leukotrienes are substances that are released from mast cells basophils and eosinophils 
So leukotherines are released from mast cells. Now what is this? Leukotherine modifies. Leukotherines are substances released from mast cells. Okay, fair enough. There is another thing called modifiers, isn't it, in the question? Leukotherines are substances. Let it be. So for me, this is not to the question. Let's see again. Okay. These substances causes airway constructions. So which substances causes? The leukotherine substances are released from mast cells and these substances. So again, these are all talking about the first part of the question only. What is the question? Is it about leukotherines or leukotherine modifiers? What is the question? Tell me. Leukotherine or leukotherine modifiers? Understood where you went wrong? Now, let's see. A narrowing of airway, increased mucus production, swelling, inflammation in the lung, this cause symptoms such as wheezing, cough, pass, nasal drip, shortness of breath. Leukotherine modifiers include two types of agents leukotherine receptor antagonists and Montelukas, Salifer Lucas. Prevent leukotherines from binding to the receptors. Leukotherine synthetic inhibitors are ciliotin, block the enzymes, file epoxygenase, which is necessary for the formation of leukotherines. So, causes airway are released. These are leukotherines or leukotherines. Our question is what is said about leukotherine modifiers? So, leukotherine modifiers may be used for the treatment of certain conditions that are associated with allergic response. So, the answer is, answer is, very good, congratulations for all those lovely students who have got option A as an answer. Why? A is the right answer. So, the answer is A. So, when you want to mark that as an answer, just highlight the appropriate letter. So, congratulations for people who have got A, congratulations for people who have got B and C. Why? You've been corrected. Our job is not to just to congratulate all the students who have got the right answer. Our job is to show the students who have got wrong. This is how the answer should be to the question. This is why you are asked to address the question. You have to read the question along with your answers, then you will know what is the difference. Leukotherine modifiers are not released by the mast cell. Very simple. Leukotherine modifiers does not cause airway obstruction. Leukotherine does. See me in the book if one can say, good enough, good enough. May be used. See, may be used are used. That is all which is understood. Understood. But leukotherines are not the question. No. You have to choose the best option from the given and understand the gist about it. Clear? You went with keywords. That is what the problem is. Gist about it. Clear? Asha, clear. Okay, fair enough. Sanju is also dancing. Good, good, good. Any, any doubts, please be kind enough to ask. I have no problem because we are here to enhance. Softy, do not worry. But again, I always love the way that you explain because you are trying to eliminate. See, when you are eliminating, first thing to the question. Understood? You have to read the question properly. They will just give you one part, isn't it? Why we chose this is also, it was interesting. Why? Both are mentioned. You got, the first part is as such mentioned. First part is as such there, isn't it? But there is a second part of the question. That was missing in that lines. You went in behind. Okay, leukotary, leukotary, leukotary. That's not what the question is asking you. To the question. Clear? Any doubts? No doubts. Is it? So are you all ready for going into part A? If so, give me a quick thumbs up. Let me see how many were ready or if there is any more doubts. Because we always believe that the valid comments that you post are always the 
uh, intimation of whether you understood it or you are still having a doubt. So, soft and clear, okay, fair enough. I can see a few thumbs up. So, Revit LED, okay, fair enough. Zinsi George is ready. Hepsiba, no doubts, very good. As you all say, no doubt, Anjana is ready. <coughs> Namita is ready, okay, fair enough. Prem Mohan and Nair is ready, okay, excellent. Sharanya Manu is ready. Hepsiba is ready, double ready, okay, double thumbs up, okay, fair enough. So as you all said, you are all ready. Now for the biggest question, what we always give the utmost importance. Simini Buredi, double, propo, okay, Shiji Bharatin, okay, fair enough. Shirley Sino, clear, okay, fair enough. Vijishri Reddy. Now, what is today's party? And the most important thing is how we felt about today's party. Vandana Reddy, Anila Reddy, Sincha Reddy, okay, clear, okay, fair enough. Shiba Manikam reading. Shirley reading. Okay. Now tell me, what is today's party and how you felt about today's party? That how was very important. Okay. By reading your how, Nitu Madam will frame the next material. Very close brain stripping. Easy material. Okay. Gayatri ready. Ashwini ready. Softy done. Okay. So what is today's material? Jobita ready, okay. How you felt about today's material? That how is very, very important for us. Because with your valid feed only, Nithu Madam will be fabricating the next material. So if it's absolutely highly, highly, highly valid, your points. Very good stripping Vandana, okay. Shiji Bharatan, easy. Revati, easy. Shibu. Okay, little tricky didn't see. Okay, fair enough. Noble Vargis ready. Sharina Benson ready. Simine Bo easy material. Okay. Surely very close. Okay. Jobita easy material. Okay. So as you all say, it is easy. So maybe she would have given you an easy material. I always believe that it is not about the material. It's about how you are attitude about that material. But that gives that upper hand, isn't it? So whatever that you're doing, my suggestion, always consider, okay, this is my exam material. Noble is saying easy, Gayatri is saying easy, okay, fair enough. Anjana is saying easy, all right, good enough. So I always believe that it is because maybe you're exposed to that kind of condition. Or maybe you would have seen this procedure. So that makes that difference. Okay, because the material always have the same pattern, same kind of question, same kind of intensity. Everything remains the same. But the difference what, uh, you know, generally, when, when you have a more uh, heard disease condition or a surgery or a procedure, your attitude always have that easy. Okay, because it is known to you and you know that. See, when, when, a, when an unknown disease condition or something which goes... It has a bit of a different thing whenever you're coming. That's what I observe. Okay, these are what I, these are my observation. Okay, it's not something which is on the aspect of, okay, I need to know everything. No need. Because if you know the right strategy, that is enough for you to acquire a great result on your exam. Now, what are the things? See, part A is the first material that they will give you. And they, you would only have 15 minutes that these material will be there in front of you. After 15 minutes, they'll take away this material. So in this 15 minutes, you are expected to tackle 20 questions. So what is the strategy? Strategy is called skimming and scanning. Skimming means quick look, scanning means detail. So how much time are we? See, the most appropriate time that you can take to do each text is 15 seconds. Or to an extent, one to two minutes is the maximum time that you can take to skim. So in order to do skimming, you should know what are the things. So skimming means you're going to underline the keyword. What are you going to do? You're going to underline the keywords. So what are these keywords? These keywords are, I have already mentioned, these keywords are 
headings, subheading, letters given in bold letters, italics, and all those things. If you are not yet aware, we have done an exclusive video on the very same page that you're watching. It dates back a bit, but do go back and listen to it. We have done an exclusive one, which will give you more insights. Okay. Now, just to show you what is skimming and how to do skimming and all. Let's say generally, okay, you're going to underline the heading. Subheading is not there, so you're going to skim through. Skim through means you're not going to read word by word. You're going to quick read whatever the material that is there in front of you. Now, how to, as when you're reading, underline the keywords. Don't take over. This is material. This is, uh, is that a keyword? Not like that. As you skim through, underline the keywords and go. See, for example, varicose vein surgical procedure that removes varicose vein from legs and thighs, varicose veins are puffy, twisted veins can run under the skin. So underline the red, bluish, so again, blue color, varicose more in the legs and then develop into other particles, treat varicose vein and help to prevent the coming back, is probably known as stripping, vegetation, avulsion, ablation, currently varicose stripping has been largely replaced by either NWS laser ablation or radio frequency ablation. Both these techniques are considered to be less invasive, safer, effective than varicose spinning. Now, I've taken about 15 seconds. Text B, varicose spinning is often done in outpatient basis and they will go home and so same day surgery, typically 60 to 90 minutes, your doctor may give anti-anxiety beforehand, receiving spinal anesthesia, feeling nervous. During early stripping, your surgeon makes several small cuts on the incision near the top and bottom of the damaged vein. Our incision is on the groin, the, far, the farther down the leg, either the calf, ankle, there will be hard, thin, thin, flexible plastic wire into the groin incision. They will be tied to the vein, pulled out, cut lower leg, and so we close the stitches, place bandages, compression stockings on your leg. So, text C is about infection. So, anything which is related to infection, go to text C. Not uncommon. So these are all important ones. Not uncommon. Redness, hardness, wound, discharge in temperature. Infection in consult a GP specialist who may prescribe courses of antibiotics, bruising, a degree of bruising and always surgery is resolved within four weeks, marked in thighs with the long vein can be lumpy. So residual varicose veins, although not strictly complication, patient may notice some varicose vein remaining after the operation. On the other hand, for a person to improve the varicose vein and rather than to move it every with visible abnormality. DVT is a possible complication. So text D is all about all the different complications. Now text D, adverse patient factor, a relative contraindication to treatment. So morbidity, age, frailty, concomitant disease, thrombophilia, previous DVT, needle phobia, thin patient, lung, less suitable. So adverse venous anatomy relative to. So two things are there, even though relative contraindication, one is patient factor, Venous anatomy, severe post thrombatic, little disadvantage of the VV, very large vasculitis. So, absolute contraindication of treatment. This is the most severe allergy, sclerosis, obliteration. Okay, there are few things that. Okay, so this is how you do your skimming. Okay, so when you after doing your skimming, Okay, see BMI, these are all important, okay, don't just, um, on the aspect, just avoid these small expansions, BMI, body mass index, DVT, these are all important keywords. After underlining the keyword, then only you're going to go to the question. So there are three types of question which will be there in part A. 1 to 7, these are all things that you should buy hard. 1 to 7 are called maths the following question where the instruction clearly says you are expected to write whether A, B, C or D. Those are the only four options that you can write and you may use any of these letters more than once. So these instruction and the type of uh, question and the question number should be by hearted by you. After that you are going to go to the question keywords. So here also you are going to refer factors that make treatment measures difficult. So factors, treatment, difficult. So what are the factors? That was reactions, isn't it? Because all the relative contraindications of treatment. So very straight answer, you can say it is in D. See, this is how keywords. See, students, when, when you talk to them about the importance of keywords, they don't understand the importance of keywords. That is the most 
important thing which you have to understand. See, we will not teach anyone something that is time consuming. They feel that, why am I wasting my time? No, you're not wasting your time. You're absolutely enhancing it to find the right answer. See, it is about finding the right answer. It's not guesswork. Students feel that, okay, with guessing also, I can get the answers. Of course, you can do. But if you have your right strategy, then you don't have to worry about it. Clear? Now, how can we manage the occurrence of DVT post to surgery? Now, DVT, there are two places where you have underlying DVT. One in B and the other one in C. But this is specifically about post. So, there is a possible complication of any surgery, but with the overnight, if your DVT is required, then you will be asked. So, the answer should be in C. Understood? Now, measure taken by the doctor to ease discomfort during the procedure. So, specialist, doctor, anywhere mentioned, I know that it is, I have underlined it in B, isn't it? Your doctor may give anti-anxiety to take beforehand or let's say during the stripping. This is beforehand, so it is not. So, during the stripping, so that means during the procedure. It will make several cuts and all, so the answer to that question is B. But this is how even if you don't know, see, you don't are, you are not expected to find the exact place. Okay, this is where, see, what are the current approaches, practice, alternative? I know that, ah, okay, instead of this, I know it is a name. But my, if you know, okay, text A is about this, text D, B is about this, text C is about complication, text D is about all these, contraindication, it's easy to refer. So, current approach, what are they? They are clearly saying these are the current things. So, it is there in a, the final paragraph. How long? So, duration, candidate, surgery, stay in hospital once the surgery is done. It's clearly saying it is only to 60 to 90. But you are not expected to find whether it is 60 or 90 or not. You are expected to find which text is it. So, the text is B. Why the first paragraph gives you? Why we conduct very close stripping? So, what is the reason again? The general intro was given in A, as far as I am concerned. Why do we conduct? We conduct Treat varicose vein and help to prevent them from coming back. It's there as such in text A. Now for the seventh question. Significant sign of one set of infection after the procedure. So infection, straight C. Because that's the other place where I have underlined, isn't it? So infection as such, yes, it is there. So easy, isn't it? One to seven. This is how important your keywords are. So, please be kind enough to tell me what are your total of out of 1 to 7. In the meantime, let's go to 8 to 14. These are the second set of questions where these are called short answer questions. Okay, the short answer question starts from 8 to 14. Instruction, very simple. It can be, the answer can be as simple as that of a word, number, both. That means word and a number or please be aware of it. It will be short phrase. Don't write big, big, big sentences can be two to three words as an answer or to an extent it can go up to four. Not don't write big answers because oh, they have clearly told this will not be big answers. Short phrases. That's how it is. Mega chart seven, Devati seven, Gayatri seven, Shiji seven, excellent. Very, very good. Charlie seven. Vandana seven, okay. You're living up to the expectation. You've all told that it is easy, so you're all getting seven. Excellent. Sharanya seven. Anish seven. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Ashwini seven. All right. Shiva seven. Excellent. Now let's go into question number eight. Consumption of which drug may help to get rid of infection? So very specifically asking you which drug. So I know that I have underlined something called antibiotic when I was underlining. So your GP would specialist who may prescribe a course of antibiotics. So the answer is construction of which drug antibiotic. Okay, good enough. That's how the answer is. Minutes needed for the procedure to be completed. Again, a very straight answer. Why? It is 60 to 90. Minutes do we need? Do we need minutes? No need minutes. Why? Because minutes is already there in the question, so the answer should only be 60 to 
90. See, antibiotics, yes, it is there, but is the question asking you drug or drugs? This is where you lose. That is why we deliberately change that. Okay, when I was looking into the question, I understood, okay, which drug? Not the drugs, isn't it? It is not asking you drug. So, drug means antibiotic. If you have written it, please mark it as wrong. The safest bet. Okay, so that you're very cautious. Now, how much should the body mass index be for the patient to undergo different management methods? So, how much? BMI. Where is BMI? It should be greater than 30. So, greater than 30 is the BMI if there is complication. Maximum time required by the bruises to get turned off occurrence post surgery. So, bruising takes C, is it? So, maximum time is within four weeks. So, it should be within four weeks. Yeah, not just four weeks, within four weeks. This is why question, keyword has to be underlined properly. Question 12, acute allergy to which medication during management may make the process difficult? So, which medication? Again, let's see. So, which are the medication? Acute allergy. So, severe allergy, acute allergy to sclerosins. S-E-L-E-R-O-S-A-N-T-S is the answer. The cut which part of the body is used like to insert the skin flexible plastic wire into the vein so which part it's definitely there in groin isn't it so where they are there the one incision will be in your groin and then this thin thread and all through groin incision so the answer is groin g-r-o-i-n which part of the body is predominantly impacted so part of the body that gets generally affected where are they talking about so the answer is leg. Varicose vein mostly appears in the legs, but can also develop. So most prominent is legs. So 15 to 20, these kind of questions are called fill in the blanks questions, where the instruction remains as similar to that of short answer questions, but you have to be very much aware of the redundancy here. If the word is there as such in the question as such, do not write the answer again. Even it can be as simple as that of an article. Don't do that. Okay. Now, Unsuitable patients are those left with unevenness where the veins no longer exist following. So following something. Where are they going to talk about all these? So these answers comes from text D. Why? So it is clearly saying unsuitable patients. So unsuitable patients. Who are those unsuitable patients? Less suitable patients. Who are they? Very thin patient where unevenness, lumps. Where the veins were obliterated. Obliterated means everything is there in the question. So which following a sclerotherapy. So S-C-L-E-R-O-T-H-E-R-A-P-Y is the answer. The patient will be discharged the same day procedure because it's usually done on the dash basis. So dash basis again. It clearly says varicose vein stripping is often done on an outpatient basis. So outpatient, O-U-T-P-A-T-I-E-N-T. -E Excellent. Varicose veins are subcutaneous. Subcutaneous means under the skin, entangled. Entangled, I know these words. Why twisted, swollen, puffy, dark red, or dash in color. Always there. Puffy, swollen, twisted, yeah, under the vein, subcutaneous, or bluish purple. B-L-U-I-S-H hyphen P-U-R-P-L-E. So that's a very straight answer. The dash can be seen mostly in thighs, long vein stripped, but may exhibit unevenness. So where are they seen? So it should be some complication, isn't it? The degree of bruising is always present following and the bruising may be marked mostly in thigh, quite lumpy. All the other keywords are as such. So bruising, B-R-U-I-S-I-N-G. Ablations either by dash or radio frequency. Two recent approaches got in place of varicose tra trapping are minimally invasive. So again, considered as endovenous laser because ablation is already mentioned. So it is endovenous, E-N-D-O-V-E-N-O-U, 
S L A S E R because all the others ablation are generally given in the question. Dash tablets are imperative for DVT patient between one and a half month to three months. So where are they talking about one and a half month DVT and all those things? It should be there in one and a half months, six weeks, three months is there. Which tablets? Blood thinning. It's a hyphenated word, so please ensure that you are writing it with hyphen B L O O D hyphen T H I double N I N G. So I have left my 20. It's high time that you start telling me. If you have any doubts, please do. If not, please do down your total scores. Really looking forward to see how many of you got 20 out of 20. See, blood thinning, Revati, you have written blood thinning. Surely you have written blood thinning. But in the text, it's a hyphenated word. So you are expected to write with hyphen. If you have not yet written with hyphen, please mark it wrong. Okay, this is Revati Gopal, 20 out of 20. Excellent, good enough, good enough. Keep it up, keep it up. Jinsi George, 20 out of 20. Excellent, keep it up. Good enough, good enough. How about others? I have two 20s. Shiba 18, excellent, good enough, good enough, keep it up. Shiji 19, good enough, good enough, keep it up. Vandana 19, good enough, good enough, excellent. Helen 18, good enough, keep it up. Guy 3, 19, excellent, good, good, good. Joji 19, excellent, good enough. Shirley, double okay, is it? Okay. Jobita 19, good enough. Biji 3, 18, good enough. Afnan, my friend from Pakistan. Good enough, good enough. Good afternoon. Anjana, 18. Good enough. Namita Joseph, 19. Sharanyaman, 17. Good enough. Vinny, 18. Excellent. Good enough. Asha, 20 out of 20. Excellent. Shirley, 19. Excellent. Good enough, good enough. Mega Charles, 19th answer, please. 19th answer is end, endovenous laser. Sanju Matthew, 20. Excellent. Good enough. Softy 19 within. Fair enough, Softy. That is how you correct. See, making mistakes are the stepping stone of your success. You make mistakes, no problem. We are here to correct you. Tenth answer, less than or greater than, actually greater than, that is contraindicated. So it should be what is given. How much is the question, isn't it? Greater than 30. Yeah, so it should be greater than 30. What is given? Don't try to over uh, think onto it because we know so just greater than 30 18 anu good enough 19 mega okay good enough right is there any other doubts that you have with regards to any of the questions ashwini blood thinning without a hyphen is wrong because in the paragraph it is given as hyphenated word Any doubts that you want me to clarify? No doubts. Okay. So, as you have all said, no doubts. It was a pleasure having you all in front of us again for another lovely session. It was an absolute stunning participation. We had few uh, iron up and column. So, it is all because of your lovely share that you're doing. So, if you think that these classes are beneficial and if you think that there are n number of students who are still unaware of it, so please do share so that they all can get benefited out of it and also make them go reach their dream country. So, if you have any doubt with regards to what Neetu's Academy have offered, we have crash courses, we have regular batches, anything that you want, please do not hesitate to contact the number that is there on the screen. Do contact, we will be happy to assist you. Until and unless I see you all tomorrow. Adios from all of us from Neetu Sandhi. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.